Back to the Fox 11 Weekend News. A bombshell report by the LA Times today about a major cover up at the LA County Sheriff's Department. It happened in March of 2021. This is video of the incident obtained by the LA Times. An inmate punches a deputy, then that deputy handcuffs the inmate and kneels on his head. But after the inmate is restrained, he remains there for three minutes. The Times reporting sheriff's officials attempted to cover up the incident because they were worried about the optics of the knee on the head. I spoke to the reporter who wrote the story. That a decision was made by sheriff's officials, unclear exactly who, not to charge the inmate because they didn't want the video to get out. And the reason why is because they feared, you know, they were worried about the optics um, because the, you know, of the kneeling because it was similar to the murder of George Floyd. Yeah, consider the timing on this one. Sheriff's spokesperson said Sheriff Alex Villanueva only found out about the incident last October and ordered a criminal investigation into the deputy who was then fired. But Eli Vera, a sheriff's commander, said Villanueva actually watched the video within days of the incident. Vera, by the way, is running against Villanueva for sheriff. We reached out to the sheriff's department for a statement and we're still waiting to hear back from them. I'll have more on the story tonight at 10. Everything. Sheriff Alex Villanueva is, resp is responding to explicit comments he made about race and aspects of black culture in an interview with the LA Times with LA Times journalist Gustavo Ariano. Villanueva is anything but apologetic, telling our Gina Silva if he that he has been the target of a hit piece. Only he knows why he thinks that way, but I definitely did not agree with any of what he said at all. LA Times columnist Gustavo Arellano says he interviewed LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva to discuss Latino issues, but somehow the subject turned to African Americans. He brought up one of the most noxious, noxious strains that Latinos have latently in us, which is an anti-blackness. That is absolutely true. In that sense, he does exemplify one of the worst traits that Latinos have. The sheriff was quoted as saying, today activists are running around saying that law enforcement are slave catchers. We don't have the same perspective in the Latino community. Gustavo says Villanueva also expressed a dislike for the amount of media coverage of black people. Don't put down black people. Don't make it seem like we're all criminals. When political activist Jasmine Kanick read Gustavo's articles on the sheriff, she was appalled. To have a sheriff that basically looks down on us as if we're the problem, we're all that ails L.A. County, that's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not buying her fake outrage whatsoever. Sheriff Villanueva doesn't deny anything in the article. He defends his position. Young black men are dying at the hands of young black men 99.9% .9 of the time. It has nothing to do with law enforcement. How do we end that? How does Jasmine Canick propose to end that? By pretending it's not a problem? Or it doesn't exist. Doesn't that happen with all races, though? Not to the degree that happens with the African American community. Other subjects discussed? Firefighters and LASD personnel. He thinks uh, firefighters get a parade because they rescue a cat from a tree. He surprised me by talking about how he admitted that 80 per he described 80% of his employees as far right conservatives who are prone to believe in conspiracy theories. Did Gustavo find anything positive to say? Absolutely nothing. Villanueva says the LA Times has never been his fan, and those articles are nothing more than a hit piece. What he said is what he said. All right, our thanks to Gina Silva for that report. All of this comes on the heels of a new investigation that was just launched by the Civilian Oversight Commission into alleged deputy gangs. The agency says it will hire a team of volunteer lawyers to look into allegations that active deputy gangs have harassed fellow deputies for years. Earlier this week, another investigation by the Inspector General is accusing 41 deputies of wrongdoing. Sheriff Alex Villanueva blasted the new investigation, saying not one deputy gang member has been identified. He calls it a fishing expedition.